Hello friends, Osiris here and the 7 star terror raid event for Embo is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. It's running for its first time out over this coming weekend. I'm going to cover some of the best raid builds to solo this with in your game in today's video. So we already covered a raid build earlier on today, which was the Armor Rouge. A very good option going in. If you want to check that out, I'll link the video in the top right hand corner and down in the description below. But the Embo event is running from the 14th as of recording this video until the 16th of June. The Embo is going to be level 100. It has its hidden ability Reckless with the moves Flare Blitz, Drain Punch, Wild Charge and Head Smash with additional moves of Bulk Up and Heat Crash. It is going to have the mightiest mark, will have the electric terror typing, brave nature, can only be caught once per save file. And the item drops that you're going to get from this raid are going to be very good. You're going to get HP ups, XL, large candies, ability patches, and more importantly, you're going to get those sweet, sweet Herba Mystic you're going to get all different varieties of those and they all have a 3% chance of dropping. So that is the end ball raid. We'll jump over, show you the build that we're going to feature in today's video. The build that we're using in today's video is going to be Annihilate. It is going to be the fighting ghost type with a ghost terror typing. It is going to have the held item of the shell bell. It is going to be level 100 and hyper train. Just make sure that all of those IVs are set to 31. The move set that you're going to need is very simplistic. Bulk up, which is a TM. Rage fist, a learn move and rain dance, another TM. The ability here, we've went for defined, but not really imperative in this raid. EV spread we're going to go for is 252 EVs in HP and defense and the remaining EVs put into attack with an adamant nature. Build it will be down in the description below. We'll jump into the raid now. I'll show you how easy it can be to run through with Annihilate. So once you come into the raid with the Annihilate, you're going to see no turn zero like previous seven star terror raid events. It's going to be turn one, both sides of the field. Turn one, we are going to set up a rain dance. That's going to reduce the damage of the flare blitzes coming out from this embo because it's all going to hit pretty hard especially until we can start getting those bulk ups later on in this battle. The one big caveat that you're going to have to worry about with the Flare Blitz is getting burnt. There is a secondary effect of the Flare Blitz burning you. You will have to use a heal chair if you do get burned throughout this raid. Turn two, we're going to chase down our Terrestrialization. We're going to lock in with a Rage Fist. That's pretty much what we're going to do for the next three turns because we are just chasing down the point where we can Terrestrialize till that Embo gets its shield set up and nullifies stat boosts on our side of the field and then it frees us up to be able to go for those bulk ups the big thing that you're going to really have to think about here is the timing of when you do terrestrialize when you get that first bulk up and then when the rain goes away because you're going to have to set the rain dance up as soon as possible so we'll go for another rage fist this is the second one we'll be launching off but one more to go and then the turn after that we'll be able to terrestrialize also worth noting as well the rage fist increases in damage every time that you take an attack from the embo so we'll go up 50 base points every time you do take an attack meaning that it is going to get a lot more powerful now we're going to see the shield set up on the embo and the stats nullified on our side of the field but we still have one more rage fist to go so after the shield goes up after it's nullified stats on our side of the field for one more rage fist and then we're going to be at the point where we can terrestrialize and we're going to be able to do a lot more damage terrestrialized through the shield than we would have been non-terrestrialized we we'll see another wild charge come out here and then we're going to be at the point where we can see this terrestrialization take place and we're going to be able to go for a bulk up as well so that's what we want to do now it's only going to nullify our stats on our side of the field once throughout this raid so it kind of freezes up now to just get these bulk ups off as many as we want i generally go for around four to five and i think that's kind of fine as well with the boost that you're going to get to the rage fist you can go all the way up to plus six if you want in that defense stat and attack stat but you just got to keep an eye on your hp because throughout this raid you are going to take big damage from the embo the embo hits pretty hard so you want to just make sure if you are taking a bit more damage if you get into the point where you look like you could get knocked out you're going to want to go for a Rage Fist just to recover some of that damage with the Shell Bell. Now the five turns of Rain has ended. The first thing we're going to do is actually set up another Rain Dance before we proceed to get any more of those bulk ups set up. So we'll see another Rain Dance come out here. That again is just going to reduce the damage of these Flare Blitzes that are going to come out from the Embo. And you can see it's doing decent damage here and we're getting pretty dicey with our HP stats. So at this stage, we're just going to lock in with a Rage Fist here just to get some HP back. Put us in a more comfortable place to go for those remaining bulk ups that we've got 
for the rest of this raid. You can see the raid timer as well is pretty healthy at this stage. We're not on any worry about the raid timer kind of running out, but you can see how useful that recovery damage is here from that Rage Fist as it goes for a head smash and we get pretty lucky with miss. So that frees us up to go for a bulk up and this is going to be our second one. Like I say, you can go for about four to five. That should be enough to kind of run through the embo. But if you want to go all the way just to kind of maximize the damage output, because you've got to remember at some stages in this raid, the embo will go for two bulk ups when it hits about 55% of its health remaining after that shield is broken you can see here we have taken a bit of damage i don't really want to risk anything getting knocked out or a critical hit at any stage so i am just going to rage fist when required just to get that health back so we're in that more comfortable position i think that's all you really need to do throughout the raid just make sure that you are in a more comfortable position when you are going for these bulk ups before you do break the shield and we'll go for that third bulk up here that puts the plus three in our attack stat plus three in our defense stat so it just means that we're going to be able to take attacks so much more comfortably from the embo as we go through the remaining stages of this raid as it locks in with another head smash there but we'll probably just kind of alternate between the rage fist and the bulk ups as we go through the raid now you could add in screech as well as the fourth move option because when the shield's broken you can go for a screech straight away that's going to nullify those bulk up boosts and probably speed up the end of the raid so that's something to consider as well if you are farming for herba mystica over this weekend but otherwise you don't generally need it the, the move set is pretty pretty simplistic you don't really need to do very many things and after that second time it nullifies its stack drops on its side of the field it's not going to do it again so the rain has stopped but i'm going to opt as we've got decent defensive stats at the minute to go for another bulk up here and see if we can get like another two up before we do decide to attack but it's probably better off if we do get a rain dance up before we go for that final attack here with the annihilate but we'll go for that fifth bulk up see like the raid time is just below 50 percent as well so we're in such a good position right now and it isn't taking too long to do i would say the annihilate it's accessible for everyone you don't need the dlcs not even for any tms or anything like that and it's probably the quickest way to run through the raid now, this is the caveat that I told you about. The one thing that is a bit of an issue with that Flare Blitz, that it can burn you, and that is going to slow you down. That's going to cut your attacking stat in half. So if you want to, if you do get burned, use a heal chair. It will just remove that burn, and it will just heal off uh, a portion of your HP. That's all dependent on RNG. So hopefully here, we don't get another burn, because that would be terrible if we do. And we do, of course, because we've got the curse. The caster's curse, like you call it. So... You do get burned twice in a row. It is pretty annoying, I'm not going to lie. Um, and it will slow you down a lot in the raid. But generally speaking, you're going to get through this raid pretty fine where you haven't got the burn. And all the time, the embo is going to be taking recoil damage as well. So we're going to have to go for another heal cheer here just to get rid of that burn. It is pretty annoying to have to deal with the burn uh, status condition because it is just a secondary effect of Blair Blitz, which it is going to primarily lock into we do get rid of that though and we can go for another rage fist here before it gets those bulk ups off because it hasn't launched them yet so we should get decent damage plus five across the board rage fist maxed out as well and you can see we're going to be very close to picking up the embo here so without those burns you can see the two turns that we had to go for those heal cheers it's going to make the raid a lot quicker to run through with the annihilate so there's the two bulk ups coming out we will launch a flare blitz i believe and a heat crash as well but we should be in a position where going to be able to take both of these attacks pretty comfortably as you can see with our defense stat and plus five and this time no burn which is nice so e crash coming out and again we'll be able to take this pretty comfortably but going into one of our partnering pokemon followed up by a third wild charge as well so the flurry of attacks coming out still in a good position to take all of these and with one more rage fist we should be in that spot where we are going to be able to close this raid up and it is as easy as that with the annihilate uh, I know I covered originally with the Armor Rouge, and that is still a very good option. But the Annihilate is one of those Pokemon that everyone has access to from the base games. It's very easy to put together. You've probably already got an Annihilate built in your game as well. So I did want to put an update video out as soon as possible just to make these raids a little bit more accessible for everyone. Be able to run through them for the Herba Mist again. As you can see as well, we don't have an Intimidate partner with us in this raid. So it's not necessary to have an Intimidate next to you. If you do have one, it does make the whole raid a lot easier and a lot quicker, but not necessary for the Annihilate to function. So 
that is the Annihilip all in a nutshell. And of course, if you want to get more of the Embor raids on your map, hit your home menu, come to your system setting, then come down to your system, then date and time, make sure you synchronize clocks off by the internet, just toggle through the date and time, don't change anything, then hit your home menu, come back into the game, all your dens will respawn on your map, and then you'll be able to locate wherever the respawned seven star terror raid is on your Paldea map, where it is, and head over to it, and then continue to farm for the very good item drops that they're going to do this weekend. So friends, that is everything for today's video, how you can run through the Embo pretty easily in your games with something that's very accessible. If you found today's video useful, please drop a like on the video. It does help share around with the community to make it easier for everyone to beat this raid, farm through it, and just have an easier time while the event is running. And also do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content, as well as our raid builds that we do here on the channel. Hope you have a great time doing this raid over the weekend. Have a great rest of your day, friends. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care of yourselves, and bye-bye.